Just a quick one for you guys. While I got very excited watching the trailer for Evil Dead Rise, it occurred to me the actual plot sounds quite familiar. Demons possessing residents of an apartment block. Then I remembered Lamberto Barva's 1986 All Guns Blazing Shocker Demons 2 is in delightfully similar territory. The sequel to the equally nuts Demons in 85, which tells the story of a mask hiding the demon seed on display in the foyer of a cinema, there for the promotion of a new horror movie. Once one unlucky patron is accidentally pricked by the item, all hell breaks loose and joyous carnage ensues. The following year, Demons 2 gave us an equally bonkers premise, when this time the infestation comes via a horror movie TV broadcast. If you haven't seen them, both are equally crammed with big frights, inventive gore and copious overacting. And if that's not enough incentive to watch, both are produced by horror legend Dario Argento. Back to the Evil Dead though. Of course, the demons are unleashed via the book. Sisters Beth and Ellie, along with her children, battle the malevolence this time in Ellie's apartment in LA. Hole in the Ground director Lee Cronin helms the project, and if the trailer is anything to go by, we're in for a black human Mummy's with the maggots now. roller coaster that veers away from the high silliness the other sequels descended into. And I, for one, am buzzing for it. It's gonna be great. Sorry, I'll stop now.